The following video is an opinion piece. For those of you who can't take a strong opinion on something you like, please click off now. As for the rest of you, hey guys, welcome to another episode of Smash JT. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about Animal Crossing for mobile phones and how Animal Crossing as a series is dead. The development of Animal Crossing started way back on the 64DD for the Nintendo 64 in Japan as a vehicle to take advantage of the real-time clock on the system. The development was then moved to Nintendo 64 after the 64DD's extended delays and featured an integrated real-time clock inside the game cartridge. The game was then ported to the GameCube as Dobutsu no Mori Plus, releasing in December of 2001 in Japan. This version contained extra features that were originally left out of the Nintendo 64 version and also used the GameCube's built-in internal clock system to keep track of the date and time. With the use of the GameCube's clock, the passing of time affects the game, even between play sessions. When Nintendo began localizing this game for North American release as Animal Crossing, the game underwent an immense translation project. Not only did thousands of lines have to be translated, but they had to create new holidays and items for America. Which brings us to Animal Crossing on the GameCube in America. This game was so revolutionary for the time, using the internal clock system and having things even happen in the town while you're not even playing the game and then coming back the next day and having new stuff there or different items to buy or new weeds to pull or a whole bunch of different stuff. No game in the past that I know of actually took advantage of an internal clock system as much as this did. But my favorite part about this game was the virtual console in it. Yeah, the virtual console. Before a virtual console even existed, there was one in this game. This had so many great NES games. You got Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, Super Mario Brothers, Legend of Zelda. Tons of great NES games that you could get via different ways throughout playing this game and put them into your house in this game and then go play them whenever you wanted. It was incredible. And to this day, I still have every single NES game unlocked on a memory card using GameShark to get some of them. But every single NES game that this game had programmed onto it, I have on my memory card for it. And then the Virtual Console came into play. And Nintendo realized they could make more money by piecing these games out individually and selling them to people than compiling them into games like they did with this one. And while that's frustrating as it is, it's not the end of the day for this game. I mean, this game is still really fun even without the Virtual Console games. But why do I say Animal Crossing is dead? Because the one thing I wanted to do with Animal Crossing to improve it would be to make it portable, be able to take your town on the go. That would have been the most incredible thing in the world. And what did they do? They made a DS version and then they made a 3DS version of Animal Crossing. And I was like, oh my god, this is incredible. I can take Animal Crossing on the go with these systems. My life is complete. And then they proceeded to kill the series off. They made Happy Home Designer, this game where you would just buy stuff and arrange it in your house. Like anyone would really want to do that outside of Japan. And then in the completely Nintendo being Nintendo move, instead of making an actual sequel for Animal Crossing on the Wii U that everybody and their mother wanted, what do they do? They make a Mario Party clone called Amiibo Festival and proceed to dumb down the randomization and make the game as boring as possible and try to pawn it off to people like, hey, it's a new Animal Crossing game. No, it's not. It's a really crappy version of Mario Party that nobody wants to play. And now we have Animal Crossing Mobile. That's right, Animal Crossing is coming to your mobile phones. And this is why Animal Crossing is officially dead. I'm sure the Nintendo Direct is making everyone so excited. All these new things that you can put into your house and different things you can do in your city and oh how amazing it's gonna be. But do we forget, so soon, whether this is a free to play title or it costs a little bit of money to play, you and I both know that no matter what the cost of the game is, this is going to be microtransaction to hell. There's going to be microtransactions for anything you could possibly think of doing in this game as far as getting things and putting them in your house. I'm sure you can do trivial tasks on the go, fun, but that already exists on your 3DS. It already exists on the GameCube, which is, to me, still the definitive version of the game. I know, I'm living in the past. But there's nothing really new happening in the series. There's nothing new that they can even do that they haven't done before. This series has been explored to death. And while I know a lot of people out there are super excited about a new Animal Crossing, you guys have to realize 
It already exists. It's already the same stuff that you do in every Animal Crossing. Nothing ever changes. I mean, obviously I'm exaggerating a little bit when I say nothing's changed in the series. Clearly, there have been minor improvements as the series has progressed through time. The ability to be able to take it on the go with you on the 3DS and the ability to interact with people online and see their houses and stuff, great. But for me, the whole purpose of the original game was to try to seek out and find all those NES games and being able to play them at my house. It was the most amazing feature of any game out at that time. So what started as a game where you could collect NES games in it has morphed into this collect-a-thon of not playable games, just items you can put into your house to decorate it. Where did we go wrong with this? When did that become more exciting than playing NES games? Maybe if Nintendo shifted the focus from original NES games to new mini games that you could collect in the game and play whenever, that would be a cool idea. But I know for a fact that this mobile game is going to be ridden with microtransactions. I don't even have to watch the Nintendo Direct to know that. And to be quite honest, I'd be surprised if they even mentioned microtransactions in the entire 15 minute presentation. So yes, I know there are going to be a ton of haters on this video that can't wait to play Animal Crossing on mobile because they just love the Animal Crossing series. But if you take two steps back and realize how the series has been shot to hell by Nintendo, you'd realize that there's no reason for this mobile game to even exist in the first place, except to take your money. It's gonna be microtransactions, like nearly every mobile game out there. And at the end of the day, Animal Crossing got me all fired up because you used to be able to collect the NES games, and then they took it away from that because they realized they could piece them out and make more with the Virtual Console instead. Which kind of pissed me off because I was hoping that the next Animal Crossing after the original one would have Super Nintendo games in it, and so on and so forth. But instead of going with more, they went with zero and started talking about a shift in what the game actually meant and revolved around instead. So go ahead and hit me with all the hate comments you want, but what would be more productive is if you actually hit me with a comment on why I should care about this mobile version in the first place, and maybe we can establish a productive conversation. But until Nintendo shows me that they're not making this game to squeeze every dime out of people, then I am not interested. That's that's just my two cents. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the Animal Crossing series. Do you feel like it's dead, or do you feel like this is going to breathe new life into it? Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, have a good one.